Hey guys, it's Elena. Today I wanted to show you how to make a colorful burst using digital alcohol ink in Procreate. And I really enjoyed working with these very bright colors today. And this color palette is available for my email subscribers in the link in the description below. This concept is very much about not filling the entire canvas, but keeping it as a fairly minimal burst in the middle of the canvas and instead focusing on what shape emerges from this and letting the colors play off of each other. And for this project, I will be using my amazing alcohol ink brushes, which are available for purchase in the link below. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a 20 by 16 inch canvas at 300 DPI, and I will be using my alcohol ink brights color palette, which is available for free to my email subscribers and I'm using my Amazing Alcohol Ink brush set. So to start out with, I'm choosing the Flat Inker brush with a blue color, and I'm going to just use this brush to add a few little blobs of color in a few different colors in the center of the canvas, and then I will manipulate these with the blender brushes afterwards. At this point, I realized that my blobs were a bit off center, so I chose the move tool and I turned on snapping in order to sort of have an idea of where the center of the canvas was and move this to the center. Next, I've chosen my liquify blender brush and I'm going to use this brush to drag the color outward so that it fades out. At this point, I decided that I wanted a bit more concentrated color, so I went back to my flat anchor and added just a few more blobs, which I then took the liquify blender and faded those out just like I did previously. At this point, I chose the Color Clone Ink Pool Edger in order to add some more definition to the edges of these fades. This brush takes the color from wherever you start the brush stroke. Now I've chosen my smoky brush in the bright pink color and I'm going to add some more texture very carefully to these areas in order to blend it together a bit more and add some interest. Now I'm switching to my eraser tool and from the same brush pack, I'm choosing add ink depth texture. I'm using this as an eraser. I've set the opacity down quite far and I'm just adding a very, very faint texture to these darker areas. Now I've gone to Adjustments Liquify and kept the size at about halfway up and I'm on Push which is the first option and I'm just going to use this Liquify filter with my, my pen in order to push this color a little bit more out towards the edges of the canvas.
Now I'm choosing the spray blender brush and I'm going to add some splatter to this now that I've done the liquify part. And I'm mostly taking the brush and splattering it inward towards the painting from the, from the white area. So this is splashing the white up onto there as if I had sprayed alcohol onto this, which has this kind of beautiful effect of, of little bubbles. So that's mostly what I'm trying to do with this spray blender brush. Now I've chosen my color splatter brush and I'm just adding a few more splashes in blue and pink. Now I'm choosing white by double tapping near the white on my color wheel and I'm choosing the white splatter brush and I'm tapping this brush mostly off of the color so that just a little bit of it shows up. And I'm just going for very subtle white splatters. I don't want to overpower what's already going on because I'm really enjoying the texture and the color fades that are already in the middle of this piece. So just a couple of little white splatters along the edges to make it look a bit more realistic. Now I'm adding a new layer on top of everything that I've just done and this will be for metallics. And from my color palette, I'm just going to choose the color in the bottom right hand corner as kind of a goldish yellow. And I'm choosing the metallic ink liner brush from my amazing alcohol ink brush set. And in this new layer, I'm just going to add some sparkle along some of these darker edges. Now I'm choosing my fine glitter brush and adding just a bit more to the same areas where I've already put the bigger flakes just to add a bit more sparkle and more variety in the size. So that's about it for this piece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it gave you lots of ideas and got your creative juices flowing so that you can start to experiment with this shape as well. And let me know if you have any questions and if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.